Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm going to talk about whether you should be running Facebook ad campaigns to optimize for the add to cart conversion event or the purchase conversion event. I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of each and which one I think you should be going for. Before I get into that, I just want to very quickly ask you to smash that like button and of course subscribe to my channel if you are new and haven't done so already. Okay, so I'm an example Facebook ad account. I'm going to quickly create an example campaign. Now, obviously, for this to um, apply, you need to be using the conversions objective, okay? And we're not gonna bother giving it a name, let's just quickly create that. And then let's jump to the ad set level. And here we get to this point here where you get to choose your conversion event, right? And you can, this is an example for, uh, Facebook ad account, by the way, so you're gonna see all sorts of errors, just ignore those. You can see that we could got add to cart as an option, um, or we can go with purchase, which is probably the two that most businesses, most Facebook advertisers are gonna focus on the most, particularly those that are advertising like uh, e-commerce products or the drop shippers or they're trying to sell, you know, sell something that people buy directly, um, some sort of product, which would be most Facebook advertisers, I would say. And when you're selecting your conversion event, you're basically saying to Facebook, this is what I want you to go and get me. This is what I want you to optimize my campaigns for. So Facebook, if you think that a certain type of person within my target audience is most likely to purchase, go ahead and put my ad in front of that person. If you think a certain time of day gets more purchases, run my ads at that time of day more than at other times. If you see that people are more likely to purchase if I run an ad on the Instagram feed as opposed to Facebook stories, then do that. You basically say to Facebook, do all these things, optimize my campaign for this, for purchase or for add to cart. And, and the decision between the two, you know, given that explanation, you might think, well, why wouldn't you always just optimize for purchases? And the, the issue with doing that potentially is around conversion volume. So Facebook have said that in order to fully optimize a campaign, for a campaign to be optimized properly, just along the lines of what I'm saying, Facebook being able to do those various things, you need to be generating 50 conversions a week. Now, there are lots of advertisers, particularly new Facebook advertisers, that may generate 50 add to cart events per week, but don't generate 50 purchase conversion events per week because, I don't know, the average business might generate three, four times as many add to carts as they do purchases. And if you're generating, say, 80 add to carts a week, but only 20 purchases, you might think, well, if I optimize for add to cart in my conversion event, then that's going to get me out of the learning phase. That's going to help Facebook optimize my campaigns better. And I'm going to have overall better results as opposed to going to purchase because I don't meet the 50 criteria. I would argue that that's not the case. I would recommend going for purchase unless you're going to be generating less than 10 purchases per week, which is a very small amount, just over one per day. I would recommend going for purchase, even if you're in 15, 20, 25, 30, still under that 50 mark. And the reason why is because I believe, and I've tested this enough to know that this is true, a partially optimized Facebook ad campaign that optimizes for the purchase conversion event. So it's not fully optimized, but it's going for exactly what you want it to get is going to outperform a fully optimized campaign that is optimizing for add to cart. It's like you've got a, a, a better tuned machine, but it's going after something that you don't quite want. The slightly worse tuned machine that's going after exactly what you want performs better, okay? So when you're running campaigns, conversion campaigns with the purchase conversion event, you may well see learning limited pop up. You may see these errors. Don't let that dissuade you from going with that setup. I really do believe you're going to see better results. We've tested this so many times to know that it's the case. The downside to going to add to cart, going for add to cart in your conversion events, is that Facebook is so good at getting you what you ask for. So Facebook will go out and find the people, find the time of day, find the placement options, find the all sorts of things that get you add to carts. But often those add to carts don't then go on to convert to purchase. So for example, if we run a Facebook ad campaign with the conversions objective, optimizing for the purchase conversion event, we may see a three to one add to cart to purchase ratio. So you get three add to carts for every purchase. Sometimes it'd be two to one, something like that. If we run a conversions campaign and we optimize for the add to cart conversion event, we have seen 10 to one add to carts to purchases, 15 to one add to carts to purchases. So the campaign looks like it's doing great and you're generating tons of add to carts, but those people aren't going on to purchase. And that's because to some extent, of course there's overlap, but there will be a slightly different personality profile in the people that add to cart and just add to cart versus the people that add to cart and then go on to purchase. And if you're saying to Facebook, 
add to cart to my conversion event, go ahead and go for that. Well, Facebook's then just going to be able to, just going to go for that, right? They're just going to get you those people that add to cart and think, whether they go on to purchase or not, we've done our job. Like, yay us, Facebook, we've done our job, we've got this person to add to cart, which is what they want. Um, if in doubt, of course, test it. Run a camp, exactly the same campaign with Add to Cart, run exactly the same campaign with Purchase, see which performs best. There's always going to be exceptions to the rule where Add to Cart will perform best. But I think 95% of the time, Purchase is the way to go, provided you're generating more than 10 Purchase events per week. You don't need 50. And don't worry if you see Learning Limited, all that sort of stuff pop up. It's still the best way to go. So just a quick video for you today. Before you go, something I want to quickly mention, and that's a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook ad strategies to double or more your revenue. Completely free to watch. Link is in the video description. This webinar shows you three different strategies, three different sales funnels that we use all the time. It also shows you which sales funnel to focus on depending on what you're selling, right? So if you're an e-commerce business, you need a certain sales funnel. If you're a local business, you need a different sales funnel. If you're high-end service provider, you need a different sales funnel. All of that is covered. So go ahead and check that out. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment to let me know. Comment below if you've got any questions. I get to as many of those as I can. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new and, uh, and haven't done so already. Thanks a lot, guys. Best of luck with your Facebook ad campaigns. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.